As we know, hormesis is a beneficial effect induced by low doses of agents that are harmful at high doses. This is Friedrich Nietzsche. Uh, he said, uh, what does not kill you makes you stronger. Uh, the main mechanisms of hormesis uh, is uh, uh, detoxication of free radicals and induction of apoptosis, DNA repair, cell proliferation, and immune response. We uh, repeatedly obtained the hormetic effects in our studies in Drosophila melanogaster. For example, in this study, uh, we uh, 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 irradiated uh, the flies uh, at the very early stage of uh, their development at the stage of one hour egg. And uh, uh, um, we found that this radiation resulted in significant uh, increase in mean lifespan by the radiation in a dose of 0 0.75 gray and uh, to the significant decrease uh, of the amount of uh, C1 uh, nucleus um, sensitive DNA fragments. Uh, what can be the, the um, possible explanation for, for this uh, uh, effect? Physiological um, mechanism not be involved in, the, in, in this effect because at the stage of uh, one hour egg, a Drosophila uh, embryo is uh, syncytium. This is uh, one uh, multinuclear uh, cell, and um, uh, it is clear that uh, phys physiological systems are absent at this stage. Next possible explanation is uh, biochemical mechanisms, but it is uh, uh, only uh, impossible because uh, all regulatory proteins, including heat shock proteins, uh, repair enzymes, and uh, mm, uh, other uh, uh, are uh, short-lived and uh, may not be involved in such long-term effects. Next possible explanation is genetic, but it is uh, clear as well that it is impossible because uh, most mutations are deleterious. And next is epigenetic explanation. It, uh, it is a uh, real uh, mm, possible explanation because epigenetic changes uh, may be involved in long-term beneficial effects uh, due to uh, mm, epigenetic memory phenomenon. And uh, I would like uh, to discuss in my presentation uh, some uh, mm, possible, uh, possible link between epigenetics uh, and hormesis effects. Uh, epigenetics denotes the processes by which heritable modifications in gene function occur without a change in the sequence of the DNA. The main Epigenetic mechanisms is uh, acetylation of uh, um, chromatin histones, DNA methylation, and RNAs. Uh, epigenetic mechanisms are very susceptible to environmental influences. This uh, environmental uh, susceptibility um, is expect expected to be enhanced during early uh, uh, development in mammals, uh, uh, it is a period since uh, uh, gametogenesis up to weaning. And uh, uh, epigenetic alterations uh, induced during both pre- and postnatal stage of development uh, can be stably maintained into adulthood. And uh, um, several questions raised uh, 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 regarding the potential contribution of epigenetics to hormesis and life extension. Uh, first question is whether epigenetic change be, could, uh, could be adaptive. Second, 
could uh, uh, this epigenetic adaptive response be uh, extend outside the early developmental period? Next question uh, is uh, um, whether epigenetic adaptive response in the body uh, could be generalized considering high complexity of living system. And last question is, uh, could the long-lived phenotype be epigenetically inherited across generations? So, first question, could epigenetic change be adaptive? According to the maybe classical point of view by Robin Holiday, an epimutation may be defined as, a, as an epigenetic aberration present in normal cells. Uh, uh, he stressed the uh, deleterious character of uh, this change. But, uh, as um, stressed Yeva Yablonka and many other modern uh, researchers, epigenetic changes uh, are far more likely than genetic changes to be directed, either by development or by environment, and many of these changes are manifestly adaptive. Uh, epigenetics presents a core of the predictive adaptive response, PAR, uh, concept by Gluckman and Hanson. According to this concept, uh, some uh, responses may be uh, made um, by the dev de developing organism to environmental conditions may not have immediate adaptive value, uh, but manifest their benefits later in life. These uh, are mechanisms by which uh, the fetus use an early environmental cure to predict its future and adopts a developmental pathway that might uh, best suit uh, it uh, to its expected postnatal or adult environment. It, it is clear that it is um, uh, about uh, uh, mammal development. A good example of such predictive adaptive response is uh, middle wall. Uh, this small um, mammal has two liters uh, in a year and uh, these liter, uh, liters are very different. Uh, Springborn offspring have thin coat, and autumnborn offspring have thick coat. It is clear that it is adaptive change because uh, autumnborn uh, offspring can survive cold uh, uh, winter months. Next, very good example. This is um, Eastern African grasshoppers. This is an uh, uh, example from the Patrick Bateson works. This grasshoppers normally is green, but after the fire in savanna, where the surface of the savanna is black, grasshoppers born black. And after the uh, grass in savanna grows again, grasshoppers born green again. Uh, it is clear that it is an uh, adaptive uh, response uh, as well because, uh, uh, because black grasshoppers are invisible for birds and the surface of the black savanna. Uh, so we can uh, conclude that uh, epigenetic change can be really adaptive. Next question is, uh, could epigenetic adaptive response uh, be extended outside the early developmental period? Uh, this possibility is evident in the uh, Mario Fraga et al. study on the monozygotic twins. Uh, young three-year-old monozygotic twins are very similar epigenetically this is patterns of uh, methylation, and similarity uh, in this pattern uh, is marked by yellow color. And 50-year-old uh, twins are very different uh, epigenetically, and uh, uh, green uh, marked the uh, hypermethylation uh, sites, and red uh, hypomethylation sites. 
And uh, we can conclude that uh, such possibility is really exist and uh, epigenetic adaptive response um, can be extended outside the early developmental period. Next question. Uh, this whether epigenetic adaptive response in the body uh, can be generalized considering high complexity of living system. Uh, such possibility is evident from the uh, radiation induced by tender effects. This is uh, effects uh, um, by which uh, um, non-irradiated cells exhibit irradiated effects as a result of signals received from uh, irradiated neighbor cells. And uh, uh, this is a hermetic-like effect because uh, by the radiation uh, in high doses, uh, detrimental um, eff effects prevail, uh, such as sister hermatid exchange, uh, micronucleus formation, mutation, genetic instability, and uh, apoptosis. And uh, by the uh, low doses, uh, irradiation uh, um, beneficial effects uh, prevail, uh, cell growth stimulations, uh, acquisition of resistance against stress, and other. And uh, this bystander effect uh, can exist not only in vivo, but in, vi uh, in vitro, but in, in vivo also, uh, as well. And uh, um, uh, uh, the terms abscopal effects. Uh, According to this effect, uh, radiation treatment to a local area of the body results in an anti-tumor effect for tumors distant to the radiation. For example, by the radiation of uh, by leg of the, this mouse, uh, this radiation uh, resulted in significant delayed in uh, Lewis lung carcinoma implanted cell growth in front leg in this study. Uh, and uh, this uh, abscopal effect uh, can, um, associate, can be associated with massive epigenetic uh, changes. For example, in the study of uh, uh, Igor Koturbash and co-authors, uh, they localized a cranial radiation exposed to 20 gray of X-rays led to indu uh, in induction of bystander effect in lead shielded distant spleen tissue uh, 24 hours and seven months after irradiation. And to the uh, profound epigenetic dysregulation in the bystander spleen tissue, uh, namely uh, significant loss of global DNA methylation, deregulation of uh, DNA uh, methyl transferases, and altered expression of important uh, for this organism microRNA 194. So, uh, we can conclude it, that uh, uh, epigenetic adaptive response in the body can really uh, be generalized considering high complexity of living system, but it is evident from this uh, um, experiments. And uh, next question is, uh, could the uh, long-lived phenotype be epigenetic ep epigenetically inherit inherited uh, across generations? Uh, this is a very uh, recent study uh, of uh, Eric Greer and co-authors, uh, published in Nature. Uh, and uh, uh, in this study, uh, genetically wild type descendants of uh, Synoraptic elegans produced by specific uh, crossing scheme, this scheme presented in this picture, uh, from the long lift set two, set two, this is uh, histone methyl transferase, uh, mutant, mutant parents had uh, extended lifespan uh, up to until the third generation. This is wild type offspring, but uh, they have 
the extended lifespan. And uh, we, uh, on, on the basis of these observations, we uh, suggested that uh, hormesis may be the result of generalized whole organism adaptive epigenetic response and therefore can be considered as a kind of adaptive life history strategy. And uh, um, I hope I have some minutes for uh, concluding remarks about the potential of epigenetics. Uh, question raised, what is the potential of epigenetics in, for life extension? Uh, because hormesis in uh, unspecific uh, way to life extension. And uh, if we can use specific uh, directed uh, um, means to uh, epigenetic uh, regulation of uh, uh, longevity, what ki uh, can we um, have? Uh, this is study uh, of uh, Thung and co-author uh, in Drosophila. And uh, uh, in this uh, study and uh, uh, many other uh, similar study, uh, uh, life extending uh, organisms uh, have uh, profound um, change in, in uh, gene expression, in pattern of gene expression. In this study, in response to radiation, approximately 13% of the genome of these flies exhibit change in gene expression, and a number of aging-related genes were significantly regulated, by, both by macroarray and uh, PCR. And uh, this is very interesting, uh, provocative study uh, of uh, Kang and other, including Famer Benzer, uh, life extension in Drosophila by, uh, by feeding a drug. Drug, it is uh, for phenylbutyrate. It, it is um, uh, uh, histone. Um, uh, 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 acetylase uh, uh, inhibitors, and uh, one of the uh, histone acetylation inhibitors. And this uh, administration by this uh, drug resulted in significant uh, increase in uh, flies longevity and uh, mm, flies fed PBA uh, shows a global increase in histone acetylation and uh, as well as uh, dramatically altered pattern in, of gene expression, number of genes were changed, and um, first of all, superoxidismutase. Uh, and uh, a very nice example for uh, a potential, promising potential of uh, epigenetics for life expansion is uh, honeybee. All so social insects cast longevity. From, for example, honeybee. Uh, mm, worker individuals of the honeybee uh, uh, live only six weeks, and queen lives six years. These organisms are uh, genetically, practically in, in, identical, but they are um, different um, uh, epigenetically, uh, and uh, this epigenetics uh, change uh, uh, in, uh, are induced by uh, different plants of uh, nutrition during the larval stage of this insect. And uh, in uh, studies of Molesca et al., it has uh, been found recently uh, that uh, when the uh, DNA methyltransferase transcript is downregulated by injection of larva with a small inferent RNA specific for this pathway, uh, the majority of the treated individuals emerging from the puta stage are queens. We can, by using the uh, specific uh, interferent RNAs, uh, make um, uh, long-lived individuals from short-lived. 
Thank you for attention. Persist mechanisms are uh, um, unknown, but uh, I, I think uh, it is uh, uh, um, the, the first st uh, steps uh, of in, in, in this uh, pathway is uh, um, uh, global epigenetic uh, generalized uh, epigenetic uh, rearrangement change change. Mm -hmm. Uh, what about my current uh, recent suspicion that uh, this uh, complex uh, uh, pathway systems where we can uh, see different uh, uh, regulation in metabolism, in fact, may be interpreted uh, uh, by some um, uh, still undiscovered uh, ways of regulation of epigenetics uh, system. If you um, uh, think that uh, epigenetics is uh, the main, the primary mechanism of aging, it means that different uh, influences uh, like uh, caloric restriction, which as we know, greatly uh, influence uh, uh, gene expression globally, maybe caloric restriction, maybe mutation that are not lifespan. In fact, uh, their primary effect not uh, those uh, 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 um, many uh, met metabolic changes, but uh, still undiscovered uh, epigenetic changes. Yes, maybe. Uh, but um, uh, epigenetic uh, is a very promising field of research. But it is very, very complicated field, especially um, after the uh, discovery of the um, word of microRNAs. It is a very complicated situation. That's okay. Yes. Okay. Any kind of father. Okay, some other questions, please. Yes. Uh, Peter, please give us a mic. This is a very What do you think about the role of genotype in epigenetic manifestation? Very important. Uh, it is complex, genetic and epigenetic, it is uh, 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 a complex complexity between uh, them. Uh, 